Welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to address an issue of finding multiple matches of values in different columns. What do I mean? I want the entire row here to be matched with another entire row here. And to demonstrate that, I have two tables here with the same column values. I am going to use the count ifs function. And what the count if function is going to count values based on the conditions that I give it. So because we want, in this case, a three-way match, so the condition that we're going to give it should be three-way. So let's get started. And how the count if function works, you give it a range and then the criteria. So the range for product ID is this. I'm going to lower it and also drop the end reference comma then i'm saying the values in this range should match my product id here comma the we go to the next the values in the product column should match what is in my product table here comma then lastly the values in the price column should match what the price here. So what I'm going to do is something here, the price right here, close your brackets and say enter. So what you're going to see is that some of these where it has not found the, any value, it returns zero. And wherever it has found a value, it returns a value greater than zero. So, for example, we have 3210. It's in this one here. It counted this as one. And then this last one as two. And therefore, return the value two. Then 6272 is here and is also here. And you observe that all the three values in the three column match. That's why it returns the value. For example, if I change this one to 100, guess what is going to be returned? What is going to be returned is zero. And why is zero? Whereas the first two product ID and name match, the last one does not match. As long as one does not match, then it will return zero. So it's a good way to ensure that or you check the three columns because you want values in the three columns to have an exact match. So this is the way you can do it. So of course you can take this further. What we're gonna do is do some conditional formatting. So I'm going to copy this function that I've used and highlight this data. Go to format, conditional formatting. Then it's going to open this dialog here. I'm going to select the custom formula. Then I'm going to paste the formula that I copied. This formula gives me the count. So I'm interested in highlighting values where the count is greater than zero. So I say greater than zero so that it returns a true and give it a unique color, then say done. So when I do that, you're gonna see that my data is highlighted as expected. So for all values whose counts are greater than zero are highlighted and that's what we expect. I hope this has been helpful and you have learned something. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Share with me other tricks you can use to find multiple values. Have a great day.